Hello friends, let's continue about the unit 2, part 1 and part 2 about this unit I already covered and that uh, link for that uh, videos is available in this video description. I request you go through that video first. So let's continue about the remaining two lessons for this unit. <coughs> so lesson 5 is related about the how we can create highly formatted tables using scorecard components. So what is and when to use um, scorecard. So scorecard component is designed for use in dashboards and reports with controlled visualization content and restricted navigation po possibilities. So this scorecard is not recommended to be used in application with the dynamic data sources and data sources with free multidimensional navigations, uh, slice and dice, wherever means wherever is there is a dynamic data sources. Uh, SAP doesn't, doesn't rec recommend to use uh, scorecard. So scorecard is being used for controlled visualization and restricted navigation possibilities. So how, how to use a scorecard? So we can add a scorecard analytic component to analysis application to allow users to view the data as highly customizable table with the addition of micro charts in columns. So now let's see means what is exactly scorecard. So scorecard if you see this is a combination of the tables like if you see this is the first uh, column, second column, third column, fourth, fifth. So these are the different different col uh, columns. So though if you see this is a row base, like this is a text data, then if you see this percentage share is like a graphical data, then this is a trend chart, like uh, this is the difference between uh, 2007 to 2010, like that. So this way means we can combine different like data between uh, like text data and graphical data in a single table. So that is core card. So we can use this uh, scorecard by adding a, that component. This is the analytical component which is available in the analytic components uh, section. So we can just drag and drop that uh, component in the application and then we can proceed further to develop that. So we need to uh, configure the scorecard column properties. Each column can display information and in form of text, image or charts. So we can have the data in a text format, in an image format or charts format. Each column property can be connected to a selection of assigned data sources. Okay. So this is an example means how we miss. This is a text data. This we can say as an image or this is a graphs or charts. Now what are the component function overview means like scorecard component header and column customization means whatever the header and column customization means whatever we see this header and column this header and this is a column so we can customize it we can select the data from result set we can have multi-line headers merge header cells as well then we can have custom called uh, column header text we can align the text uh, text data uh, whatever there then custom column formats we can have the custom column formats then we can have rule based highlighting means we can just give some conditions and based on that condition we can highlight the data we can color the text or we can change the background we can show the conditional formats uh, in the smart copy analysis office use and we can change the micro charts as well now how we can uh, generate auto generate of uh, generate the scorecard so it is very easy uh, we whenever we uh, drop a analytical components we have the properties there we need to select the dimension first so this is the row row scope we need to specify and then uh, whenever we specify this up to suppose there is a dimension something like calendar year so we can select up to calendar year and then we just click on generator initial scorecard so once we click on this this type of uh, scorecard gets generated. So this is a text data. This is a graphical data something. And then the third uh, step would be to change the column properties. We will see this in a detail how this can be done. So the first uh, how we can create the scorecard. So first step is from the analytical component drag this uh, scorecard in the lay layout. So this is the first step. Then second step, we need to assign a data source for it. So uh, from the properties, from this pro, uh, scorecard properties, 
we'll select this data binding option and we'll assign the data source as whatever the data source is available there then third step is like we need to specify the row scope so what is mean by row scope it is it is the data which we wanted to display till particular row or till particular column that uh, data that we wanted to set means we whether we wanted to uh, specify complete result sets or up to some dimension like country or calendar year then we need to specify column and group headers whatever the columns we wanted to specify that we need to specify we can specify comparison chart plus bar then comparison chart with bullet like this trend chart bubbles or we can just have display of values text and images which is the default one okay so definition of row scope means what is def uh, row scope so if you see this is a data suppose this is a region division product value this is a data which has r1 r1 um, like this r1 and r2 are the region then division as d1 d2 for each region product p1 p2 for each division each product uh, it is different and the value some values there so when we specify row scope the like suppose we have specified up to region that means it will give one line for each region so in this case that means we just wanted to have to display the data up to region means that region so for this region whatever the unique values r1 is the unique value and r2 is unique value for that just only two rows will be displayed up to division if you specify up to division then it will have four rows because one line for each row region and there are two divisions that's why r1 d1 and r1 d2 then r2 d1 r2 d2 like that then up to product if you sp specify then it will consider these two columns as well then one line for each dimension uh, combination of div division and region and product so in total there will be six rows so this is the way we need to specify uh, row scope means whatever the our business requirement that's what um, so that in that way we, we need to specify the row scope okay so this was about the scorecard component let's go through lesson 6 which is about the understanding the interoperability between the bi clients so the first uh, interoperability means how it can be used between uh, different different tools like design studio well how it is it can be um, operational between uh, different tools like analysis office analysis ola for uh, then how it can be to mobile or desktop so so from analysis office we can uh, copy the data source directly from analysis office to the design studio or the dashboard uh, analysis all app also we can uh, copy the data uh, sources uh, into this design studio and then it can we can work on it and then we can display that in mobile or desktop uh, applications so this is very uh, useful means we can export uh, design studio data uh, or a dashboard from uh, to limura which is the mo mobile uh, we can use to display it on mobile or on desktop applications as well so it has tight interoper interoperability between analysis and design studio using the interoperability between analysis office and olap design studio advantage from the analysis clients that are not possible in uh, design studio so uh, there are some um, advantages in the analysis clients so that are not possible in design studio so that can be used in uh, design studio okay so from analysis office how we can create applications like there is one option uh, there are two ways uh, analysis office uh, provides uh, interoperability smart copy and create web application so there is smart copy means it will uh, copy the navigation straight of a single data source in the clipboard data source is added in the design studio via smart paste and no visualization is created in the design studio automatically and then third one is uh, second one is create web application which creates new application and transfer the workbook from uh, analysis office to design studio so that can be uh, changed in design uh, studio 
so uh, create web application button needs to be activated in settings and advanced uh, settings so there is so uh, these options we need to set in uh, analysis office and uh, only following uh, components analysis components can be transferred like cross tab charts these are the charts and filters only now how we can create applications from analysis olap so analysis olap provides one way of uh, interoperability it is by creating web application in analysis all app we can create a new web application and provides the workspace completely or partially and the virtual virtual visualization is created automatically and can be changed in design studio as a separate so so the first means the steps is like create web application in analysis all app tool and then that can be tra uh, transferred or um, uh, exported to design studio and there we can change the visualization so that is the one uh, interoperability provided by analysis olap tool and following charts are not supported in this uh, analysis olap like 3d crystal column and box plot uh, and the last one or uh, waterfall and the last option is export cross tab uh, to limira from design studio we can export the cross tab to limira so this is uh, again uh, lumira is a storyboard or visualization tool uh, from sap so where it can um, export cross tab as uh, lum uh, lums file dot lums file and this can be open in sma lumira desktop for further data man manipulation exploration and visualization so the script is ds1 suppose this is a data source from dot export data source export type dot lumira uh, underscore lums this is the syntax we need to specify that will be uh, imported okay so that's all from um, this uh, session means like we covered about the two things in this uh, video first thing is about cross scorecard and then scorecard and then interoperability of uh, between the clients different clients like analysis tool analysis olap analysis office and uh, lumira okay i hope you have understood this concepts we will be covering this in more practical uh, examples in coming sessions for each unit i hope you have understood this if you ha have any questions then please put it in the comment section if you like my video then please like it please subscribe to my ch uh, channel as well so that you will get to know about my next uh, video thank you for watching